Welcome back. I'm Nicole BW and this is Farming Simulator 2015. We are back from PAX South and had an amazing time. <laughs> We're watching this guy. He doesn't unload the whole thing and I don't know why. He just does not have time, I guess. So... He, we have this guy, he's going on, he has his course play, course, he has sold, uh, not quite half, almost half of the silo there. Um, we can, as soon as he drives over it, we can see how much is left, 66% left, so not quite half. Uh, so we are getting money from him, which is excellent. As soon as that one's done, we'll move over to the next silo and start that one. I added course play courses for all of the silos there. Um, so there are course play courses for that. Um, what we are going to do today... Well, if we look over here, we have that field and that field back there. Uh, planted and uh, or sowed planted and it's growing I don't have the time um, going very fast so it's kind of slow growing but we have a harvester here um, up in front of us if we drive over there is the cultivator slash sower um, I think I got the the combo one do, do, do. Yeah, I got the combo one uh, where it cultivates and sows at the same time. And then I have a tipper back there. I got a yellow one. Uh, just the smallest tipper. So that way uh, uh, we just have the bare necessities to do these two fields here. So what I have been doing, where's the thing? Uh, we have been... Uh, mowing grass and I disabled the um, the pickup of the grass so it just leaves it on the ground because what I think I'm going to do because uh, it does hold a lot but I think it would I don't know maybe it holds more um, I don't know how much it holds now that I think about it um, but we're going to get, oops, let's go back to that. Um, now that I think about it, well, anyway, we're going to try out a new thing. So we're going to get a loading wagon, and we're going to get this middle one. So we'll test that out. It's $40 a day. It can pick up grass and straw and all that stuff. Um, this is what size of tractor you need, but the, the grasshopper is very powerful, so we don't have to worry about that. The capacity is 38,000. I don't know if the grasshopper holds more than that or not. I should have looked that up before I started recording, uh, but we're going to go ahead and buy it. Yay! Okay, so there it is. It just kind of dropped out of the sky. So that is our pickup wagon. So we will test that out. Let's get into our grasshopper. Back up. And let's see if I can do this one better than the last one. So we want to um, lower the pickup. Which lowered that. And we want to turn on, nice, then we're going to, I don't know how well I can turn with this thing, we're going to drive over and pick up all of the grass that's just on the ground. Yeah, so maybe we can make less trips that way. Let's just try not to, you know, let's just go in a straight line. So, while that's going, 
see. If we go back further, is it less loud? No, it's still loud. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, so Pack South, we saw so many things and experienced so many things. So we got there on Thursday and went and had these big, giant, huge margaritas. And then we, uh, so on Friday, we ended up getting there early because we've never been to a convention before. So we weren't sure uh, how well it would go. And there was a tournament that my husband was wanting to enter. So uh, we wanted to get there early enough to be able to sign up for it. And we knew the doors opened at 8 and certain things didn't start until 10. So we get there at 8 and realize that we can't sign up for the tournament until 10. So we have two hours. So we're walking around and then we're walking and all of a sudden my husband says, Hey, isn't that that guy that the boys watch on YouTube? What's his name? Markiplier? And sure enough, there he was standing like two feet away from us. And I almost ran into him because I didn't see him. So that was fun. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't uh, get a picture. So the boys, our boys yelled at us for not getting a picture of that. Um, but that was the start of our day. And that was the only time I saw him. Um, then... We went to, uh, uh, we signed up for the tournament, which was Puzzle Fighter, or is it Super Puzzle Fighter? I don't know which one it's called, um, but I think it was for the, uh, Super Nintendo, and, um, we signed, or he signed up for that, and I was going to go to the, the Markiplier panel, I can't get underneath there. I should get closer. Okay. Maybe we just avoid the trees and go around them. This is looking awful. Maybe I should just use the grasshopper from now on to pick up the grass. I thought maybe this would be quicker to do it this way, but I'm thinking probably not. But it doesn't hurt to experiment with stuff. Okay. So we go to uh, panels and then uh, it was like a couple hours before the Markiplier panel and we didn't really have a whole lot to do. So we're walking around and noticed there was a huge line already uh, for that panel. And so we decided not to do that. And instead, there were still spots left for the tournament, so I went ahead and signed up. I've only been playing that game for two weeks, and my husband's been playing it for years. <laughs> so I was out in the first round. But the person that uh, beat me was <laughs> the person that ended up coming in second. So I was beaten by somebody that was pretty good. I just got the unfortunate draw. And my husband did say there were some people that were entered into the tournament that I probably could have beaten. So I'm not, like, horrible at the game, but I'm not good enough to win a tournament. So then, uh, so then my husband made it to the second round, and he ended up getting beaten. But the guy that beat him ended up winning the whole thing. So I feel bad. He got kind of a bad matchup. Uh, in the beginning, I think he could have made it at least to the next round uh, if he wouldn't have gotten matched up with that guy early on. So I felt kind of bad for him, but he had a blast and it was so fun watching him, so excited about it because he doesn't like, he was very old school, likes all of the old games, N Nintendo, Super Nintendo, um, just all of the real old stuff uh, so that's kind of his thing so it's very fun to see him excited about that um, we ended up going to the Minecraft panel and I tweeted out or retweeted a picture that Goob sent of the audience and I am sitting in the audience so there's the only picture I'm gonna put of myself online so I'm not telling you which one I am but I'm definitely in the audience, and so is my husband. 
Um, so that was fun. That was a good panel. I've been watching those guys. I think I started watching um, the Minecraft guys since right before the end of the first season. So I've definitely, they have been a part of my Minecraft experience for a very long time. So it was really cool to see them in person and uh, get to do that. And it was nice to uh, finally be able to show my husband who these people were and for him to get to know them a little better. Um, let's see, what else did we do? I think that was the end of the first day. We ended up going to eat at Fogo de Chao, and, um, which is one of our favorite places to eat because it's awesome. And we ended up seeing, I'm at the salad bar, and I'm getting food from there, and out of the corner of my eye, I see this table of a bunch of people, and I look over, and I had to take a double take, and there sits bacon donut, and crusty mustard, and that whole group, and I was just like floored. I was right there next to them, and completely wasn't expecting it, because we're just out for dinner. We're out to enjoy, have a good time. So that was fun and my husband comes back from the bathroom he's like I got a picture with bacon and he, I'm like nah -uh. and sure enough he pulls out his phone and there's a picture of him with bacon donut I'm like you're a jerk so <laughs> that was fun um, the second day we ended up not doing a whole lot there was a YouTube panel um, with like sea nanners and uh, <laughs> a cupquake and some other guys that I cannot remember off the top of my head. I'd have to look at the panel uh, thing. Um, and that was interesting. I think I, I learned a few things from that and uh, they gave some good advice. So I'm excited to put some of that advice in uh, to work and uh, let's see what else and then we didn't really do a whole lot the rest of the day I think we ended up leaving uh, and then we went out with some friends for dinner and got really 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 drunk so Sunday was not that <laughs> fun for me I had a hangover most of the day uh, but we did go to the Gearbox panel in the morning and almost we were like two seats away from one of the guys that got picked for the free uh, stop and that was kind of frustrating uh, to be that close to being picked and not actually be picked. <laughs> um, but we learned some stuff from that because we love Borderlands and we ended up staying for the Borderlands panel in the evening which they had to tear down the wall and add more chairs because there were so many people waiting for that. My cats just decided to get into a fight all of a sudden. And, um, let's see, that was pretty much it as far as that goes. We got to see some, you know, minor YouTube celebrities, or major YouTube celebrities uh, at that as well. Um, let's see, what else can I say? Um, I think... Oh, and the Expo Center um, with the booths and stuff, I did end up finding a bunch of games. Uh, I've got cards for all of them, so that way I could remember. Plus, I've taken pictures of some of the games that I couldn't get cards for. So, there are games I definitely want to try out. I signed up for an early alpha uh, for a game that looks fun, and um, it's multiplayer. There's another game that I really want to try out. It's also multiplayer, and it's kind of like the board game Clue. Uh, so there's a group of people, and it's like old Pilgrim style, and somebody's the bad guy killing off people, and then uh, there's like a sheriff trying to figure out what's going on, and people have jobs and stuff, and it's your job to figure out who the bad guy is. So it's kind of like Clue meets Gary's Mod, Trouble in Terrace Town meets 
pilgrims i don't know so but it looked like fun so i want to try that one out and there's a couple other ones um that we found that looked really exciting that i want to try out i think there might be two or three that i might do let's plays of uh there's some that i might do just like a couple videos of or maybe i'll just do a um Kind of review of the games because they they did seem really cool and there were some that uh they it looked like the developer put a lot of hard work and effort into it um but there were a lot of games that just were not my style like the spaceship or plane flying around shooting other flying objects i just don't get into that sort of style of game um, or like more of the, um, like World of Warcraft style games. I don't get into those as well. Um, so those games I kind of just passed up. Um, but it was a lot of fun and I got to meet a lot of new people. And, uh, so I highly recommend if you ever have a chance to go to PAX, uh, no matter which one it is that you try to go because it's a lot of fun. If you like games, whether it's card games, board games, video games, old games, uh, new games, there's something there for everybody. And I didn't think my husband would have as much fun as he did. And it was pretty amazing. So uh, I think that's about it. We will, I know this isn't full in the slightest, but let's go down and take this down to, uh, the, uh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. Um, let's see, we need to turn this off. Let's pick up the thing. Let's take this down and drop it off. We'll check out where our grasshopper is. Um, we might not. I probably won't keep this. I'll probably use it to pick up the rest of the grass that's on the ground everywhere. Because um, there's areas all along here that I have. Oh, I was going to bail it. I completely forgot about the baler. Hmm. Maybe we'll try that. Okay, so let's drop all this grass off at the silage plant. I don't know what it's called. The biomass plant, I think is what it's called. I'm calling it the silage plant. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing up here. Okay, so we need to unload. And compact it. So what I'm going to end up doing is picking up all the grass that's on the ground, the dried grass already, or not the dried grass, but the grass on the ground already. Pick that up as much as I can and, um, yeah, and turn it into silage and then sell this thing because it's not worth it. Using the grasshopper, since the grasshopper picks it up, uh, the grass automatically, uh, that's just the best bet for, for this. Um, I was trying to try out something different, and it doesn't work. And it's just not worth it. So, that's where we stand. We're waiting on our, um 
our fields to grow. They're not done yet. We're waiting for uh, this guy. This guy's just going to keep going around and around and around. Poor guy. He gets no breaks. No coffee breaks. No, no lunch breaks. No sleep breaks. He works through the night. Just selling my, my goods. Yeah, you like it. So, yeah, he makes me money. <laughs> yeah, he does. So, that's that's what we're doing. Uh, we, the next episode, we are going to probably... Uh, I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> we'll probably harvest the fields and uh, replant and sell and uh, sell what we harvest. Whoa. Hello. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what else we'll do, but I'll figure something out. Find something exciting. Maybe find a mod to download and try out. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. Uh, but I have a lot to do between now and then. Oh, and I'm going to finally start another Minecraft map. So, be excited for that. I have to wait until I get my new mouse because my scroll wheel is broken on this one. And that sucks. So, I can't play Minecraft without my scroll wheel because I can't do the numbers for the hotbar because I'm not smart enough to figure that out. <laughs> I'm smart enough to figure it out. I'm just not used to that, <laughs> doing it that way. So, it would be a horrible let's play without a scroll wheel so I'm supposed to get it today so hopefully I'll be able to start the Minecraft map tomorrow yay and I'm gonna try to be a little more consistent and get more videos out to you every week not sure how many I'll be able to get to but hopefully it'll be at least three a week we're also going to start a new series on and it's going to be me and someone from my family playing together. So either we'll be competing against each other or I'll be teaching them how to do something or they'll be teaching me something. Uh, but it will be, it should be fun and a little more interactive. Uh, and it's not just me talking and... Hopefully it'll be nice and funny and fun for everyone and it'll be a new game every week. So, uh, look forward to that. That will be on, or on the weekends is when we'll record it. So, I'll try to get those out either on the weekends or on Monday. So, uh, exciting stuff coming your way. New games, new maps, new people to play with and a lot more content than before so i'm all pumped up from pack south so <laughs> i will stop talking hopefully i will stop talking because <laughs> i'm all excited and want to just talk as much as possible with you guys so i will i hope you guys enjoyed the episode i hope you guys oh don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that jazz yay let me know if there is a game, a new game out, or an old game out that you would love to see me play because I'm taking suggestions. And uh, let me know if there's any uh, thing you want to see me do in this game and or direction you want me to take or suggestions of what you think I should do uh, instead of what I'm doing now. So, I hope you guys enjoy playing Farming Simulator 15 for yourself. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>